Assalamu alaikum. Hope you are doing well. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. Hi, so in this video, we are going to solve this creating dynamic column power query challenge. So, here is the data to download. I'll put this video link on my description. So, basically, what we need to do, we need to create this kind of output. Okay, so first one will have this name, and all of these will have this hobby you know different hobby names and then we need to put true if this person has that particular hobby or false if it's not so let me download this i'll open this now for example this rehit so python monkey bars so true for python true for monkey bar and in all of this there is false so you can also watch this video he explained quite well so once you download this file it in excel now what we need to do we need to take this into power query so control alt apt now we need to split this into rows to split by delimiter if you watch my previous video then you already know how to do this so split into rows we just need to clean this up because there is one extra space before this Python. So we need to trim up this column, trim so that will work. Now we need to do this pivot column because we need to put this hobby into column and then name into rows. But we just need to tweak this into this section. So hobby. Now we can see that we already get our expected output like zeros for not having that hobby so like this arlene so let's see this arlene has only fashion so if we check this fashion then it's one otherwise in all of these cases this is zero so what do we need to do we need to find this column names okay so table dot column names that is this one i'll show you this one okay and then i can just remove the top one list dot remove top remove first n so i'll just rename this to column names now i'll show you why this is necessary because we need to replace zero to false and one to true so that's why I click all of this so control a and then there is an option to replace value right inside is stiff that's okay value to find that is zero and replace with that is false so it will replace with false now the issue is that if you check this one then you'll see that it's hard code those column names but this hobby column will be dynamic so we cannot hard code this well so that's why we need to find this dynamically okay so that's why i was finding this column list so i'll just copy this i'll just remove this step and i'll put this step after this and now i'll just replace this one with column names and it's work also now i can do the same thing so instead of custom one i'll put this one and instead of zero it will be one instead of false it will be true so that's it so replaced zero with false one more is replaced one with true now we can load it and this is our expected output true and false true and false now we can just add new data and i can go into this refresh and my name is there 
and for coding so let's check this where is this coding this one we can add later on conditional formatting so this is it for this video and this is real quick because you, you already know how to do this from my previous video i'll put that icon for that video as well thank you for watching if you have any suggestion feel free to comment have a good day